Howdy folks! Today we're working on a mini chopper. Let me tell you a bit, little bit about this rig here. I'll bring you in here a little bit closer to show you what's going on. Looks like we have a two-stroke motor that needs wired up. We're gonna have to add that headlight. So it looks like a bunch of wiring and other little things that we have to take care of. So with that being said, let me gather up some tools and stuff and we'll get started. The first thing I want to work on today is replacing the fuel lines from the fuel tank to the carburetor. These right here, they're dry rotted and hard. You know, just not good. No good. So, take these. Aw, come on. And we're gonna replace it with a brand new line. Come to think of it, I hope I bought the right size. Heh, <laughs> that'd be bad. On these small engines, you have two different ports for lines. You have the bowl fill, which is this guy right here, and the vent. I could tell which one is which because when I push the primer, it pulls vacuum on this one and pushes out on this one. So this is the vent, that is the bowl. Let's find out if I got the right size. Well, it's a good thing I bought two sizes because that one's too small. And this guy right here, that's her. Nice, soft, smooth, goes right on. That's what we want. So I'm going to go ahead and run these up to the fuel tank up here. And I'll be right back. Oh, just a little side note. My sister watches my videos and she said that I need to be more cautious about safety. You know, something about toaster and pull. That was last week's video. Video. You should check that out. But in order to be safer, I'm going to wear safety glasses. So let's get these on and let's rock and roll. The fuel tank on this bike is actually a dummy tank. It's just a piece of plastic chrome to make it look like a chopper. When in reality, the actual tank is that little guy right there. I mean, the size of this motor, probably get, yeah, it's probably a quarter gallon. Probably be able to go 50 miles, something like that. I don't know. I've never ridden a thing really. But hopefully we will find out today. So let's keep going. We're gonna run a couple fuel lines in here, vent and return. And I'm gonna slap this back together. Oh, real quick. Working with this fuel line is real easy. This uh, vinyl stuff, all you have to do is take a pair of wire cutters and snip it. It's that simple. So I'm gonna run these lines along the frame or whatever I come whatever conclusion I come to looks best. So I'll be right back. So this is how I decided to run the lines out the tank on the frame. Nice sweeps down into the carburetor. So now that we've got that figured out, let's work on doo -doo -doo -doo. Hmm. try the wiring. Yeah, let's get this thing wired up, see if we get her working. All right, I'm gonna set you down on the tripod and we'll get started on this. All right, so now we're done with the fuel. I shall remove my safety glasses and put them safe for a later date. Somewhere safe for a later date. If that's not what I said. So, it's wiring. I was playing around with it a little bit off camera and I determined that there is actually a starter in here that acts as a generator once the motor is running. A lot of people don't realize this, but an electric motor is also a generator if you put power to it. It works like that. It's weird, ain't it? So, to do that, we're going to need two different sets of relays so that when we push a starter button or turn this key, it sends signal to the motor 
the electric motor and when I release the key it leaves the ignition on so that it will charge a battery. So I'm going to go find a couple relays, some wire, and we'll get cracking on this. Hey guys, I just thought of a neat little tick tip that an older gentleman taught me about opening packs of zip ties actually. Just a little cute little thing that, you know, it can make your life a little easier. I don't know. I do it. But open your zip ties from the middle because you can shake this, drop it, slam it on the ground, stick it out of it, and they're not going to fall out. But if you need a zip tie, it's that simple. So, I'm going to get back to this. I'll bring you in once I got it all wired up and I'll try to explain everything so it's somewhat comprehensible. I'll be right back. A little time has passed and I'll show you what I did. I have mounted the key switch and he's tightened up. And then I have my two solenoids mounted. I drilled and tapped that and it seems to be holding them pretty good. So this solenoid here is for the charging system and this one is for the starter. So when the key is on the on position, this solenoid would be active sending pattern sending power from this to the battery which i have to mount yet and then this one is my starter relay when i go to start it it'll actually uh send power from the battery i mean the battery to the starter down here so what i need to do now is i found this little tray right here i want to take this and mount it on those two plates right there. I figured that'd be a good place for it. So I'm gonna put you back down and let's go ahead and get this battery tray mounted. Get the positive ran to both this solenoid on the, well, I can't exactly, there we go. This solenoid here for the charging system and this one for the, the starter slash ignition. Alrighty folks, I got her uh, all wired up. It, uh, it will start with the key, hopefully. So let's get, some, let's get the cover back on her, get some fuel in her, and see how she does. We'll prime her a few times, got her all gassed up. Cross her fingers, turn the key, and turn the key. Okay, it starts. So now, let's see if it will run. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. Now let's see if it's charging. Almost DC. We're charging. Just starting idle. I think this thing might actually move me. We're gonna find out. <laughs> but first, we need to fix a fix uh, throttle linkage. And we'll put the headlight in. Well, it's getting dark. Let's try to get a ride in before it gets dark. How about that? And then I'll put the headlight in later. You see here the throttle cable. It's supposed to sit in that slot. This barrel connector keeps popping it out because it's too big. If I twist the throttle, you'll see. Oh, now it's going to make me a liar. Well, okay, maybe we just solder that up and call it good. That's what I'm thinking. So let's do that and see how it looks. And there we go. Got her soldered up. Should not come off. Look at that. Works great. All right, now let's get this on the ground and go for a ride. Okay, folks, new view. Put my safety glasses on. Let's get this baby started up and see what she does. The test ride's over. Let's see if this thing can do a burnout. All right, let's see. It stops, it goes, does everything it's supposed to. Let's see if we can get some light on it. I don't think it's going to be too difficult. I already have wires up here. So let's go ahead and solder this up real quick using this harness. And then I'm going to plug it into the stock location and see if it actually works. This will be interesting. Well, as you can see, got the headlight going. Just soldered it into the ignition so it's on when the light is on. Um, other than that, I think this red thing is ready to sell. Put the money towards the garage we're building. But that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Destroy that like button. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you again. Oh, oh, oh.